Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here. Welcome back to another North American GameCube library review. Today we're going to take a look at Resident Evil 2. This game was released in 2003 and it's a survival horror game. On to the ratings, I rate these games between 1 and 5 cubes. Graphics, 2 out of 5. Now keep in mind, this is a direct port from the PS1 version of Resident Evil 2. So of course the graphics do not look good on the GameCube. But they looked pretty good on the PS1 when this game was released. Despite the PS1 graphics on the GameCube, the game still looks fairly decent with the pre-rendered backgrounds. Gameplay, 4 to 5. I still think this game handles really well. Yes, it has tank controls, but once you move past that, this game is still really excellent. It's a great story. It's a great piece of the Resident Evil history, and I feel like the game still is very playable today. I love Resident Evil 2. I like how it got out of the mansion and into the city. That really made me fall in love with this game. It is one of my favorites in the series. Fun factor, 3 out of 5. The tank controls definitely can hinder your fun at times, but it's still really fun to take down the monsters and play through this game. The rarity, I'm going to give this one a 4 to 5 cubes. For some reason, this game is pretty tough to find. I know back when I got this when it first came out, there wasn't too many people talking about it. Who wants to play a PS1 game on the GameCube, right? Unique features, there's really nothing unique here. Again, like I mentioned before, this is a straight up PS1 port to the GameCube. It's still single player. They didn't really add nothing to it. It's just Resident Evil 2 on the GameCube. The overall rating, four to five cubes. This game is still a really great entry in the franchise. I think you can have a lot of fun with it on the GameCube. However, with that said, with the Resident Evil 2 remake that had come out not too long ago, I really can't see a reason to come back to this one, unless it's just a curiosity to kind of see the roots of where Resident Evil 2 started from. So play this one and finish the remake. All right, that's going to wrap up this review. Be sure to leave your request for the next review in the comments below. With that said, I'll see you at the next one. All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to check out my other videos, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I am the console collector. I want to thank everybody for watching, and until the next video, happy gaming.